Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith and um, just came out with a friend uh, to uh, check out some of the local storms near Ottawa and right now I'm in Frankton, Ontario at the radar station. Now if you use um, Radar Scope, a great app on your iPhone or any other phone, you can track radar and you, there, you, there's a feature there where you can select the radar from different stations. So this one is offline right now because this thing here, this dome has just been under construction. The old one was torn down right next to it. And this is an S-band radar. 31 of the radar stations in the network for Canada's grid are being upgraded to S-band, which is more powerful and uh, it's got higher resolution, therefore, because it's at a higher frequency than the, the old one. So, didn't know what to expect here, um, but I'll uh, just bring you a bit closer and show you what it looks like here. So, there is a, there is a website for this guy. If you go, if you just Google the Frank Town um, radar station, it'll bring you to some more information on this particular site here. Very hot and humid day, might be some tornado spawn. Okay, so this is brand new construction, everything from the concrete cement uh, footings up to the whole, the whole unit here. You know, pretty impressive. And, uh, you know, I think they're, they're putting out a signal, but you can't publicly see the uh, results, I think they're just calibrating and testing. It's actually supposed to open in, uh, early, in early August, so a couple of weeks from now. So, stroking to my friend, I wish I had some raw eggs. I could hold one up and see if it would fry right now. Or one of those fluorescent light bulbs, if you hold it up in the air and there's strong uh, electromagnetic signal, then the plasma will light up without you plugging the thing in. So was actually surprised because looking straight ahead, there's nothing and uh, that's where the old one was. You can actually see some spots on the ground that are lighter. I'm wondering if those are the old footings of the previous station. So also wondering why they didn't just use the, you know, the stairs and the same infrastructure that was on the old one, but uh, you know, they decided to go new with the whole thing and build it right next to the old one. So anyway, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's good that Canada is spending the money to upgrade and get better systems as we get more and more extreme weather, you know, uh, extreme weather events, more intense storms, um, more, more intense rainfall, etc., flooding. You know, we need, uh, we need the best sort of diagnostics that we can for, for weather prediction to get, to get the accuracy up. Anyway, thank you for listening. Bye for now.